How is it going out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys would give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite level or your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Last time we did World 1, Acorn Plains. Now we're going to do World 2, otherwise known as Layer Cake Desert, one of my favorite worlds in this game. I really love this world so much. And also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What is your favorite Mario power-up? I would love to know what your favorite power-up is. If I had to pick my favorite Mario power-up, I'd have to go with, um... I'll definitely have to go with, um... I'll definitely have to go with, like, the Cloud Mario from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. That would have to be my favorite power-up. would have to be Cloud Mario from Galaxy 2. But other power-ups I really like, I also really like the Squirrel Suit, which is what I'm using right now. And I also really like the Cat Suit. Mm -hmm. Which is the cat suit from Super Mario 3D World. That power up's really awesome too. And I also really like the gold flower from New Super Mario Bros. 2. That power up's really awesome. Excuse me. Like, I love the, I love the gold flower. That has to be one of my favorite power-ups. I also like the ice flower from Super Mario Galaxy 1. It's teaching us that we can use the warp pipes to go back to previous worlds. So we can, that the pipes can blast you back to the previous worlds, which is pretty cool. Perilous Pokey Cave is the name of this level right here. World 2 is very easy in this game. It is not hard by any means at all. And this, and this game is very easy overall. This, this game is not a hard game by any means. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? How am I getting hit constantly? I don't know that, but... Alright, so we got the first star coin pretty easy. That's all we gotta do. We have to ride these, and we have to hit that block. Go up here. And this is how we get the second star coin. Very easy, that's all you gotta do. And we can go here to get Yoshi, because we need Yoshi to get the third star coin. But the tedious part about this area is that it's dark in the area. You do have bats, but this area is not that hard. So just be careful here. So now we want to go inside this pipe right here. This is where the third star coin is. It's pretty simple right here. Once you, once you make it here, it's pretty simple. You just have to bounce off the pokies, and that's it. Very easy. That's all you got to do. You just have to use Yoshi to bounce off the pokies. Or if you have the squirrel suit, you can also use the squirrel suit to glide and then, you, then squirrel jump up to get it like that too. It'd also be very easy with the squirrel suit, just like it would with Yoshi. 
Very easy level. Top of the flagpole for the win. We have 24 lives now. I love the background in the le in the levels in the Layer Cake Desert. How they have some ice cream, then some of the stone eyes, and then some of the sand and stuff. I just think it, it looks pretty and stuff. Like, it looks beautiful and stuff. Okay, now we're going to Layer Cake Desert Dash 3, which is Fire Snake Cavern. Okay, I want Ice Flower this time. So this level right here... It's basically the second. This is basic. This is very easy right here. There we go. We got rid of that fire snake. Here's the first star coin. Very easy. That's all you got to do. Now we get the gold baby Yoshi. I love the gold baby Yoshis because they light up the room when it's dark, especially if you do this spin move like that. That's what I love about the gold baby Yoshi. And about Baby Yoshis in general, what I really like is that they sing along with the music. Okay, so we can go this way. We can, we can do that. Okay, the second Stark one. I think I know where it's at. It's not there. Oh, I was expecting another power up, but whatever. It's all right, I guess. Okay, the second star coin is in this pipe down here. So let's go inside this pipe. It is, I was right. And there's a P switch we have to hit. So we have to hit this P switch right here. And once we hit the P switch, we have to go this way. And that's all you gotta do. Very, very easy. Okay. So let's collect these. There we go. We can get our ice flower now. Since I was at least needing some kind of power up when I made it to small Mario. Now we can go inside this pipe up here. And this will take us to the third star coin. And there we go. Very easy. That's all you gotta do to get that star coin. And there we go. We got all three star coins in this level. So now we're gonna do this. Oh, we got an extra life, which is good. It was nice of that gold baby Yoshi to give us an extra life. <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and do the tower. Stone Slide Tower. Here we go. Okay, this is a very easy tower. You have to press the R button when you're on this screw to spin the screw. And then that's your first start one. That easy. That's all you got to do. And you just spin the screw to make these platforms appear. Come on. So we do that. Now we spin this platform. And we go here. Wild jump. Very easy. That's all you gotta do to get that second star coin. That's it. So when we get up here, we gotta go inside this pipe. I 
I wonder if I can do it without spinning the screw. Oh, you can. You can just jump to the corner of the pipe. But spinning the screw would be the easier way. Now we can do this. We can wild jump up. Then we can ride this. Um, so this is where the third star coin is. So you gotta go this way. Gotta go in here. So we need to have one of these gear guys come down. Uh, this is gonna be kind of tough. Excuse me. We broke open that. There we go, we got all three star coins. <laughs> Go up. I'll jump up. We need to spin these screws, get these out of the way, and then we need to go inside one of these pipes, use it to launch up. Give me that fire flower. I'm waiting for one of these dry bones so I can bounce off of it and get the fire flower. Okay, we're gonna fight against Boom Boom, which is the second Boom Boom of the game. Alright, so the Magic Koopa, which is Kamek, is going to use some magic to add a power to Boom Boom to make Boom Boom a little bit more difficult than it was last time, but still pretty easy. The only extra move he has this time is just this spin attack move where he jumps and spins. The strategy is still exactly the same. Just jump on him, and as soon as he comes back up, jump on him again and, and repeat. Very easy. <laughs> There we go. That's it. There we go. Let's go ahead and save our game. Now we have to go through this maze, and I'm trying to find a way to do it without running into enemies, and I was able to. I got lucky, I guess. Now we're gonna do World 2 4, which is Layer Cake Desert 4, which is Spike Spouting Sands. This is a pretty easy level right here, so. You have these spike guys that throw spiked balls at you. The first star coin's over here, pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. You have to wait and do that. And very easy, that's all you gotta do. Not too difficult. Okay, this is where the second star coin is. It's a little bit hidden. You do have to find this hidden block and then hit it to reveal a beanstalk and then climb the beanstalk to the secret area in the sky. And now, you have to climb these platforms. That's it. Very easy. We're gonna need the mini mushroom in order to get, um... We're gonna need the mini mushroom in order to get the third star coin. So in order to get the mini mushroom, we have to go down here and then... Although, I originally said I hate mini mushrooms in general, but one interesting thing about the mini mushroom in this game is that you can use it to run up walls. Like, you can, if you just run regularly, you won't run up the walls, but if you get a little bit of speed and then run up, you'll run up the walls. So, kind of cool, I guess. 
power-ups are really like. Other power-ups are really like. I also like the propeller. I also like the propeller suit from New Super Mario Bros. Wii because you can use it to. Because you can use it to. I love the propeller suit from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Because you can use it to propel her up in the sky. And other power-ups I really like. I also really like the penguin suit. I love the penguin suit. I love how it prevents you from slipping and sliding on the ice. Alright, so we did that. Now we're gonna um This level also has a secret exit, so I'm gonna play the level again just to get the secret exit. Cause this level also has a secret exit. We got the squirrel suit so we don't have to be mini Mario this time, because we don't need the mini mushroom this time. We can just use the squirrel suit. So we can use the squirrel suit this time. Another power-up I really like that I forgot to mention is the Cape Feather from Super Mario World. So we just run down here, duck underneath, and then go inside that pipe. That's all you gotta do right there. Very simple. That's how you find the secret exit. And we have 31 lives now, which is very good. If you beat the level and you touch the flagpole with the last two digits being the same number, like for example, if they're two threes or two nines or two ones, you'll get a power up from Toad after beating the level. Excuse me, now we unlock the secret level of Layer Cake Desert. Alright, so now we're going to go on to Layer Cake Desert Dash 5 Dry Desert Mushrooms. Alright, this is a level I love to speedrun. I really love speedrunning this level. This is a level I love to speedrun. There we go, we got the second star coin. Now we go inside this pipe, and this pipe will take us to the third star coin. And you can use the pal block if you don't have the squirrel suit. That's the only way you get it without the squirrel suit. But if you do have the squirrel suit, you can wall jump off one of the pipes, and then you can glide towards it like that. It just makes it even easier. You can do a little shortcut if you have the squirrel suit right here by gliding all the way here. It's very simple to do. We have 32 lives now, which is good. We're just flying through this world. Blooming Lakitu's is Layer Cake Desert Dash 6. This level has some Lakitu's in it. All right, there we go. All right, so we need 
to get rid of this Lakitude, and we need to use the Lakitude's cloud to go, go inside this pipe, because that has the second star coin there. We need to use these note blocks in order to get it. Very easy. Um, and the third star coin's even easier than what we just did. Because for this dark one, what we'll need is we'll need this. And we'll need to throw a Koopa shell through there. Or you could freeze a Koopa and throw it. But only if you have the ice flower. And there we go. Now we're going to do the secret level. Then after the secret level, we'll do the castle. All right, and now we're going to do the secret level. The secret level of the desert world is actually an ice level, which is pretty interesting. This is a very interesting level because this is piranha plants on ice. This actually references Frosted Glacier, which is, which is the fourth world. Okay, let's get the fire flower. This is a pretty easy level right here. This level's not really that hard. You have to be quick in order to go inside this pipe because if you're not quick enough, it will obstruct the pipe, making it impossible to get the first star coin. <coughs> Excuse me. So you want to make sure you're quick enough in order to get that. But still very easy to do if you're good at speed running this game. So you want to wild jump up here, go inside this pipe. Just wait for those blocks to come. Wait for this one to get melted. And then wall jump. That's it. That's it. That's the second Stark one. I love ice levels in Mario games. They're so beautiful and stuff. I just love ice and snow levels so much. I can't wait to do Frosted Glacier. Speaking of snow and ice levels, I love... What's that power-up called that prevents you from slipping and sliding? We talked about it earlier in the video. Oh, the penguin suit. I love the penguin suit. I just love how the penguin suit prevents you from slipping and sliding on ice. That is what I love about the penguin suit. It prevents you from slipping and sliding. Um, and that you can barely slide across the ice too. And once again, this level unlocks a shortcut to Soda Jungle, which we'll be doing that world later after we do both Sparkling Waters and Frosted Glacier. Let's go ahead and save our game. And now let's go ahead and do the castle, which is Morton's Compactor Castle. Excuse me. Here we go. Morton's Compactor Castle. This one is not that difficult, actually. It's a very easy castle, by the way. Uh, this castle is very easy, by the way. It's not difficult by any means at all. Run right across that. That's all you gotta do to get your first star coin. Very easy. Okay, so your second star coin's up here. So you wanna wild jump up here. Go inside the pipe up there. That's it. And then you wanna wild jump. That's it. Now we just have one more star coin to get, and that's later on into this level. There we go, we got our last star coin. All right, just run right here. Watch out for the lava bubbles right there. 
Okay, so right here, you just have to time the jumps when they come in. You just jump. If you get crushed by these, it's instant death. They're kind of like the thwomps in Super Mario Galaxy, to where if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're dead. That's basically the way it is. There we go! And we did not even die once in World 2, which is very good. Here's Morton Koopa, the second Koopling of this game. Let's take him down. Basically, he has a pokey right here, and you just have to wait out for his pattern. Jump over the pokies that go underneath you. Stand still for the for the ones that go above you. And then just jump on his head. That's all you gotta do. And then now just follow his shell. And as soon as he comes out, jump on him again. And do the same thing for the third hit. He's such an easy boss, it's not hard by any means. That is it with World 2, which is Layer Cake Desert. You got all the star coins in Layer Cake Desert. That's gotta mean something good, right? Yes, it surely does. Let's go ahead and save our game. Right here, we have options of where we could go north to go to Frosty Glacier or south to go to Sparkling Waters. And we're actually gonna do Sparkling Waters next time. I can't wait to do this world. I love this world. This is the water world of this game. I love this world. I cannot wait to do this world in the next episode. This is one of the best worlds in this game. And I cannot wait to do it. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And click on the bell. We know by the time I make new videos. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republicus Speedboy.